Let's now cut across live to Jugal, who joins us from Jagdalpur. Now, Jugal, uh, last heard you were telling us about the huge voter turnout there in Jagdalpur, almost in open defiance of the call that Maoists have given not uh, to vote. But just take us through what the voters, you have in fact been speaking to voters also, what they are saying. And secondly, the biggest threat or a challenge for security forces to take these EVM machines back to the various centers. Absolutely, Sanket. In fact, uh, taking your first point on, uh, you know, we travelled almost 70 kilometres away from Jagdalpur into the interior areas. Uh, in fact, a border region between the district of Bastar and the, the and the district of Dantewada. Uh, it was it was an affected area in 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 the terms of the Maoist influence out there. And we saw that almost 80 percent voting had taken place by around one o'clock. Uh, we spoke to a lot of voters. They said that they have problems and they think that the only way to solve them is to participate and get those problems. Solved. So that's the kind of fervor that you're seeing among people in these areas, so-called affected areas, people coming out and voting in large numbers, given the fact that the security was made available to them. Uh, with regards to your second question, Sanket, of course, as we were discussing some time back, uh, in these areas, the, uh, the entire scheme of things do not end with the polling. They end with the polling machines, the staff, the security personnel coming out safely. And that is what will happen immediately when the polls uh, complete in these areas at around 3 p.m after which a massive de-induction exercise almost uh, almost 10 to 15000 additional troops have come in bsf crpf itbp they all have to be pulled out in the next 2 to 3 days 15 air force helicopters are stationed in bastar and uh, jharkhand for this task so it's going to be a huge logistical exercise which will unfold and going by the past trends the maoists do intend and they do actually strike when the forces are withdrawing so that that's something which we'll have to wait for tomorrow and Yes, with me there are a lot of voters, young people from rural areas who are here. आप लोगों ने चुनाव में participate किया आपको दिखाई होंगी? अच्छा बढ़िया. अब ये बताइए कि यहाँ पे आप लोग के क्या मुद्दे हैं? क्या चाहिए आप लोगों को? हमको आपके जो सांसद बनेंगे उनसे? उनसे चाहिए अपने यहाँ थोड़ा स्वास्थ्य केंद्र नहीं है गांव में आसपास. बहुत समस्या है. गांव में बहुत बीमार हम लोग एक ऑफ आप लोग आ रहे हैं एक ऑफ आ कर रहा है तो रात को भी आना जाना करते हैं कोई डर नहीं लगता जब दिन को आना जाना करते हैं हमें ऐसा लगता है आप आप मुझे बता रहे थे कि यहाँ पे रोजगार की बड़ी दिक्कत है जरा समझाइए हमको हाँ रोजगार के बहुत ही बड़ा समस्या है सब रोजगार बिजली पानी so Sanket, you're seeing young faces coming out and telling us that uh, Naxalism may be a big issue uh, in terms of from where we are looking at. But these people who are staying on the ground surprisingly say that it's not that big an issue. They, they do not mind defying that diktat coming out. Their real issues are un unemployment, water, electricity, infrastructure. And that is what they want from uh, their MP, whoever they elect from here, to represent them in New Delhi. Absolutely. And the huge question will be, are they also voting for change as in fact we've been talking talking about through the course of the day. Now, there are 19 candidates in the fray in Jammu, but the main contest is between the BJP's Jugal Kishore, the Congress candidate Madan Lal Sharma and Yashpal Sharma of the regional People's Democratic Party.